Okay, I started this as a written reading, and I might continue it that way as well. It's the middle of the night here. The lighting might be kind of funny. We're we'll just uh, have the twinkle lights on the porch. So, uh, okay. The three cards that I drew for the reading that I started as a written reading were the High Priestess, the Tower, and the Emperor. It's like when I was looking at these and I am thinking, uh, oh, what is it that someone doesn't want to see? What are you not looking at? What are you unaware of? What are you trying to deny or ignore? Uh, or uh, you're, you're just trying to like feels like a child if I shut my eyes they won't see me <laughs> it's not gonna work that way it's not gonna work that way someone is not paying attention and they might not be paying attention to something that's coming down deliberately um, someone's got an issue going on in their life something has something important coming up um, someone is reaching an apex, either in a relationship, a job situation, uh, something uniquely personal to you. There's just, there's just a shit show on the horizon. Basically, there's a shit show on the horizon and someone just isn't, isn't paying attention, isn't watching it, doesn't want to know about it, is trying to pretend it doesn't exist. Wow. It's funny, when you get to the end of your thoughts on a card, sometimes that's when everything um, comes together. And uh, you can say in a few words what you've been trying to sputter out for a minute. Um, the thing that's coming up is going to produce a tower moment. This is just such a pivotal moment, such a shit show, um, such a tower moment, such an earth-changing um, moment that's just going to totally turn someone's life around upside down backwards forwards upside down so so they need to open their eyes someone needs to open their eyes you need to see what's going on so this had come up reversed and it is the emperor and it was like a relinquishment of power um, someone's losing power by not um, staying in control by not um, handling things as an adult and being responsible and um, watching what you're doing or watching what somebody else is doing. Um, someone, this high priestess, she just needs to, she just needs to open her eyes, open her eyes. Um, you know, um, sometime I'm also getting the feeling with this high priestess, uh, there's the words, um, just a minute. It's a, it's a real form of, of, uh, not wanting to know something because it could be too painful or not wanting to be aware of something because it's so overwhelming that you don't have any idea of how to thwart it or fix it or avoid it. So there's this like whole denial thing going on. Okay, we're gonna, I'm just going to pull a couple more cards. It's like the middle of the night, so I don't know how long I'm going to sit out here by my little lonesome. Okay. Oh, a couple came here. How can I shuffle? How can I shuffle and still have these come up from my reading the other day? Six of Cups and the Moon. Um, something connected to your past, whether memories, regrets, um people, experiences, relationships, situations, something something coming back from your past. Usually a lot of things that come back from our past come back to haunt us 
quite frankly, it's not always a good thing. More often than not, from personal experience, it is not a good thing. It's like, I thought I put that behind me, and I turn around, and there it is again. With it also come secrets. Uh, this is like the card of deception and lies and mystery and um, esoteric knowledge and secrets. And the thing that this card is screaming to me right now is secrets. So, again, wow, for this to come up like um, this whole scenario in more than, more than uh, once in, within a week, a couple of times, so someone um, is carrying a secret, someone's carrying, some, you know, I feel like you've carried this secret for a pretty long time and um, by revealing it uh, you you might cause the tower moment a revelation of the secret could change everything for someone's life and and um, and I don't know if it's gonna come as like a total surprise to someone or someone has suspected it for years Whenever that wherever this is wherever this is coming from from the past, um, there's a feeling of a, of avoiding an issue, avoiding. Let's just not talk about it. Let's just not talk about it, and then it has not happened. Okay. Um, I will pull another couple cards here because this is pretty fascinating. Oh. If you uh, enjoyed these readings, please uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and give me some feedback. I don't know if anyone's listening. I don't know if I'm making connections or not, but it's always nice to know I'm not wasting my time and there's somebody out there who is at least entertained. Um, I just find this fascinating that this scenario has come up again, which is making me wonder. I am the great researcher. <laughs> if I think that this is something near me or within my circle, um, I am a great researcher. Someone told me I would make a great private eye, especially on the internet. Secrets just are a challenge. It's a challenge. So what are the cards we have left from this? Okay, three of them come up. Oh my, the strength card, it actually came up reversed. Uh, this, by the way, is Leo, and I, I don't um, necessarily bring up astrological signs, but this one's stuck in my head. It's also, a couple of them have. Not, not a lot, but as I've said before, I, I, I'm reading tarot and I'm more interested in the scenarios coming through my mind and astrological signs, but this could be significant to somebody and it came up reversed. So uh, it, it implies stealth to me. Who is the beautiful lion lady? Who is she? Who is she watching? What is she doing? And why does she feel the need for stealth? There we come again. There we come again with. Um, there we come again with the High Priestess and her eyes wide shut. So what is the need for stealth here? Uh, um, the, the fact that it came up reverse could also put her in a very vulnerable position. Whether she is the, is the individual who will have a secret revealed to her or she is the one with the secret. There's a uh, the revelation of a secret may put this individual connected to the sign of Leo um, in a vulnerable position. What else is it going to do? Oh, the hanged man. Um, it's going to release something from a period of stagnation. It's going to, to allow something that's been tied up, uh, tied up and bound and uh, oh yes, it goes with it, doesn't it? Something that's been tied up and bound and just held for so long. Uh, it's going to be the release of something. 
it's going to uh, point to the release of something. With all this said, the last card that I had pulled here is the Page of Cups. It's like a message um, of, of friendship or love or uh, um, a message of love coming in or offers or um, emotions. Okay. Okay, it can also, this, this uh, in this instance, just feels to me, the light changed, uh, just feels to me as though um, I'm not sure if this, what kind of relationship this um, implies, but it will be a message filled and wrought with emotion, possibly guilt, um, regret it will just be a heart-wrenching heart squeezing um message full of emotion and that's what i'm feeling someone's going to get this probably the person that's going to get this message is going to be uh the person represented by this high priestess the person who is uh blind to something right now or unaware of something or um has a secret that hasn't been revealed to them yet, has knowledge that hasn't been revealed to them yet. Here, here comes the message. Um, so my final thought is that whatever this message is, whatever the secret is that needs to be revealed, it's going to be extraordinarily, extraordinarily eye-opening. And with that said, out here on the front veranda in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, with that said, I am going to say thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And until next time, bye-bye.